Hi everyone, this is Dr. Zach Boris from uh, Dickinson County Public Health uh, and Avera Spirit Lake Medical Center here at Lakes Regional Healthcare in Spirit Lake, Iowa. Um, coming to you with another coronavirus update about what's going on here in uh, Dickinson County, as well as uh, broader across the country and across the world. Um, some new changes that we've put into effect both to help take care of folks who are concerned that they are ill, uh, as well as keeping our patients here and in the community safe. Um, so just a quick update uh, on numbers. Uh, we are now over 400,000 cases internationally, globally, and that's confirmed cases. Um, in Iowa, we went up to 124 today. That's just out. There are still no cases confirmed in Dickinson County, though there are tests out there pending. I know there are a lot of rumors uh, going around that there are positives here. There are not yet, but at the same time, we have to assume that there probably are folks in our community who do have coronavirus uh, and COVID-19. Um, there is a case, at least one confirmed in Jackson uh, County up in Minnesota, just over the border. There are cases in Kasuth County and, and in Sioux County. So it's just a matter of time until we do have one confirmed here. Uh, we are doing testing uh, daily. Um, we have probably gone through about 20 to 30 tests over the last week. Um, and it's still fairly limited in terms of who we are able to test, um, but we've set up a whole new structure for how we are going to be triaging and, and evaluating patients. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, and yeah, we'll just talk through some of the issues. So um, first things going on at the hospital, um, we have at our clinics have restricted uh, visitor access. So unless um, you are a caregiver of someone who has um, physical or, or emotional needs or that of a child. Um, we're gonna ask you to stay in your car during your um, family member or friend's visit. So ideally, um, just one person, the patient, him or herself, uh, per visit up here in our clinic or down in Lakes Family Practice. Um, obviously, there will be exceptions to that, but that's what we're striving for, just to reduce um, congestion and reduce the spread here. Um, our um, COVID-19 hotline is up and running and has been since late last week. Um, it's staffed currently Monday through Friday, eight to five. And again, that number is 712-336-6696. Um, you will reach um, one of multiple trained nurses and then there is a um, nurse practitioner or physician there staffing it throughout those times, helping answer questions and helping decide how best um, you can be taken care of. So currently, if you call that hotline during those hours, um, if you have just mild symptoms, you will likely still be encouraged to stay home and ideally self-isolate for two weeks. So that means don't go out to the store, don't go out and see friends, don't do dinner parties, stay home and even isolate yourself from family if you're concerned. Um, if you have significant illness, so if you are feverish and coughing heavily and or short of breath, um, or you meet specific criteria that does um, point towards testing, uh, we will have you come in to our facility for testing. Um, not necessarily testing for coronavirus, but at least for evaluation. So the way we are working that now, and they will tell you this on the, um, on the hotline, is to drive here to Lakes Regional Healthcare, um, call the hotline once you arrive, and then we will tell you where to go. Generally, right now, we are having folks um, line up outside of the ambulance bay. Um, once we are ready for you, we will have you come in in your car into the ambulance bay um, from behind, and um, then a nurse or provider in uh, appropriate protective gear will come and see you in your car, do vital signs, and likely swab you for flu, RSV, and strep, and possibly coronavirus if we feel that it is indicated. Um, and then once that initial screening is done, we have now set up a, an entire respiratory clinic in our uh, outpatient center over by Lakes Family Practice. Um, that is being staffed by nurse practitioners as well as physicians, and it's now going throughout the day. Um, that is replacing our quick care clinic, so it's going till 6 p.m. each evening, Monday through Thursday. Um, and that is just for anyone who has any respiratory symptoms because the range of disease here is broad. So you could have anything from no symptoms with coronavirus to terrible pneumonia that's requiring a, a ventilator. Um, we're trying to funnel everyone who has any sort of respiratory complaint, cough, shortness of breath, 
even mild cold symptoms, to the respiratory clinic. So it's very important that you call first. You will then get forwarded to the coronavirus hotline and they'll tell you whether you need to go to the ambulance bay or can just go over to the, um, to the respiratory clinic uh, and they'll tell you where to go and how. Um, that is in part to keep everyone else safe so that we can continue seeing patients, still see uh, babies for well child checks, uh, still see pregnant women in our general clinics because everyone still needs to get taken care of. So again, if you have any respiratory concerns, um, you can always call your office, but we've asked that you call the coronavirus hotline at 712-336-6696. If you do call the office because you can't remember that or because um, you forget, that's fine, but you'll probably be forwarded to that if you have those symptoms. Um, so that's how we're doing it, and it's changing daily, sometimes multiple times per day as we try to figure this out and make sure that everyone's safe and taken care of. Um, we will certainly alert the community if there are any positive cases here. Um, it probably is a matter of time, but hopefully um, we are well prepared. In terms of hospital preparedness, we are making plans for if and when we do have many hospitalized patients from it, as we're seeing out on the coast, um, and even now in the uh, Mountain West as well. Um, time will tell, but we hope that we are preparing it and getting everything ready um, so that we're as ready as we can be for it. Um, couple other things that I wanted to touch on. Um, I know there are a lot of you snowbirds who are coming back from uh, all sorts of places, Arizona, Florida, California, which is great. We're happy to have you home. That said, if you are coming from one of these hotspots, which includes Arizona, New York, Florida as well, um, which we know we're getting a lot of folks back home because they want to not be stuck there, and I understand that, we ask that you stay at home in self-isolation for 14 days. That doesn't mean going out to Walmart, that doesn't mean going to coffee, not that you can have coffee out at this point, but um, please sty at home. Uh, remember that Hy-Vee and Walmart both have online ordering and pickup, so you can just pick it up in your car. There has been delivery, but I believe that's shut down right now from Hy-Vee for the same reasons. Um, but you also probably have friends in the community or family who might be willing or able to go do that grocery run for you, have your fridge at least partly stocked um, so, that you're, so that you do not have to be going out. Because again, if you are in a higher risk place, like one of those places uh, that I just mentioned, um, and really that number of states is growing every day. So really, if you've been out of the area at all, we ask that you stay home for at least 14 days if you are at all able. If you start feeling sick during that time, then do what we just talked about of call it, calling the coronavirus hotline. Um, you know, again, this is seems like a lot. Um, seems like a large reaction to an issue, but in the U.S. now we have um, over 50,000 cases. It's going up by seven to ten percent every day uh, in terms of confirmed cases. A lot of that is because of better availability of testing, but we have not seen the peak of this at all. Um, New York is shutting down and is worried that they're going to run out of ventilators within the next two weeks. Um, God forbid we're at that same point uh, a few weeks after that, but gosh, I, I think we are well prepared. We are working with our um, associates across the region and with Avera and uh, with Iowa City, et cetera, so that we can make sure that we have good plans in place. But this is real. Uh, this is potentially coming, um, but hopefully all of the efforts that you've been taking to stay home and to not uh, be having gatherings and uh, all the real difficulty that you've been going through of not having your businesses open, not having uh, restaurants open, et cetera. Hopefully that will help slow the spread and, and uh, flatten the curve here in Iowa. So we appreciate all that you're doing. Um, I appreciate your time, taking the time to listen to me talk at you. Um, we're doing our best here. Um, please let us know if you have concerns or questions. If you are wanting to volunteer or if you're wanting to donate supplies, um, you can let us know. I know Jason Harrington had a video up a couple days ago about how to do that. Um, for donations and supplies, it's Jennifer Gustafson, um, and you know we're just doing our best to make sure that we are as prepared as we can be, and we will keep you abreast and, and uh, not hide any information from you because it's important in these difficult times that everyone is on the same page and that knowledge is shared. So stay well, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, um, and take care of your families and community. Thanks.